What's up guys, it's Stamp. And uh, to follow up on my last video, we are gonna talk a little bit about what I feel is the best party to make you additional gold, which is really, really valuable when you come to doing uh, NG+. So I had to give you some context behind why this comes up so often as typically, in my opinion, most people struggle with gold because they struggle to the, with the management aspect of the game. So they usually are prioritizing HP over where maybe they should prioritize healing stress inside of a dungeon. And they're prioritizing damage over um, the additional stress as well. So let me give you an example. A lot of people favor utilizing these trinkets, um, the ancestor trinkets, when you look at, uh, like, let's say the head trinkets, these are really popular. But you also take an additional 20% stress damage, which is fine to get through a dungeon. But when you get through that dungeon and then you're left sitting in the town and you're like, oh shit, I'm going to have to heal this stress. So it's going to cost me four or 500 gold. Was it truly worth it when you can find other trinkets that maybe don't do as much damage, but you sure as hell don't take as much stress. So I think that's really where a lot of the gold issues come in when you talk about... Uh, people that struggle with managing gold throughout the game. So here's a party that I feel is probably the best with your main objective being output of gold and coming out of a dungeon with the, the most amount of gold possible. So uh, here's the background of why the composition. So the Antiquarian is pretty much a must-take because she allows you to come out of the dungeon with much more uh, with bigger stacks of gold and also the little trinkets that allow you to sell those for additional gold when your your dungeon's complete. So she's pretty much a must take. Um, we bring the Highwayman because he pairs extremely well with her when you talk about his repost ability in Duelist's Advance. And then we're gonna bring the Grave Robber and we're gonna really spam Scout Chance on her even to where it's too much, so that we're guaranteed to get a um, critical scout so that we can get a secret room. So when we look at bringing this party, obviously we want to bring a healer, because we don't have a lot of high HP characters in here that can get away with murder when it comes to taking damage. So we're definitely bringing a Vestal. So the reason the party is set up like this is it, this party is actually really fun to play. If you've never played it, I'd highly recommend it. Um, the way the party is set up is you really want your highwayman to be stacked with a lot of melee damage because his melee damage is going to come from duelist advance and either utilizing open vein if you need something that has higher prot or Wicked Slice on something in the first two rows because of the higher crit mod to it. Um, so he's going to start open up with Duelist Advance probably in row three or four um, to really hit the mob in, in row three or four. Now your, uh, your uh, uh, Grave Robber, excuse me if I said Bounty Hunter before, um, your Grave Robber is actually going to lunge on her first attack so ideally you would like her to go first so hopefully she's got more speed than your highwayman but it's not always going to work out that way um, so she's going to go first and either lunge row three or four then he will go second and probably duelist advanced in front of her and then that will put your antiquarian in row three now when she goes you want to obviously make sure she starts with protect me and then alternate turns depending on do you need to heal, maybe give a little spot heal, or can she utilize get down or maybe be a little more offensive with nervous stab. Um, it, it's a really fun party to play. It does. It's a little more complex, but it's a really fun party to play. So that's kind of the concept of how the fight starts. So looking at their combat skills, she's going to bring nervous stab, which you're going to use sparingly. Um, get down, which you'll probably use every two turns, two to three turns. Uh, she'll bring fortifying vapors just in case you need it. Um, invigorating va vapors is another one you could take if you're not going to utilize her to heal as much. It just depends on your play style. And this is a must take, which is protect me. The only real camping skill you need to take is trinket scrounge, which you're going to use as soon as you camp because that's going to give you a free trinket. And then um, 
you're going to take her plus four speed trinket and feather crystal. So speed and dodge are, are really, really important. If you're playing with her and you haven't um, gotten any good quirks like these, really what you're looking for as far as quirks are speed and dodge only. So on guard, um, evasive, and quick reflexes are pretty much the three best for her. Camping skills, it, you really don't need that because you're probably not going to use it. But trinket scrounge and then obviously stress reduction and wound care are probably what you're going to take. Uh, when we look at the Highwayman, there's a lot of different ways you can play him, and you're probably going to end up switching out a few of these as you go throughout the course of a dungeon. Um, but really what, what you want to make sure you have is Duelist Advance because it's part of the um, keystone of, of this um, class comp or this party composition. And because it triggers a repost, which when she utilizes Protect Me and she puts it on the Highwayman, if he's hit, he's going to also repost, giving you a combo effect. Um, obviously, bring Gallows Humor with him. Unparalleled Finesse is really important with this build, as is Bandit Sense if you want to prevent an ambush. Um, if you had some extra, you know, if you wanted to trade this out for clean guns, you could, but you're really only going to be using Pistol Shot to try and finish off the fourth row uh, if your uh, Grave Robber is going to hit fourth row initially. So... Moving forward, as we look at your Grave Robber, Lunge is really important, but so is Thrown Dagger, because you're really the, the sole person for responsible for getting rid of that fourth row in most cases. And you're going to need Shadow Fade in case she happens to jump in front of the Highwayman so she can pop back. Um, pick to the face I'm bringing mostly off of the High Crit mod. Um, for Trinkets for her, really the Scout Chance is important as is um, Raider's Talisman, Talisman, because it's probably the best trinket in the game right now. Um, bring Gallows Humor again to reduce that stress even farther. Um, so you can see with these first two, with got two Gallows Humors, you really shouldn't have a problem with stress. HP is probably one of the um, limiting factors of this party. Um, as far as the Highwaymen, I kind of skipped this, but Surgical Gloves we're definitely taking. And then you're taking Sharpening Sheath because we're really focusing on melee damage. Um, and then obviously the Vestal, same base, basic Vestal setup that I always take. So that's kind of a quick run through in under 10 minutes on, on how, what I feel is like one of the best parties for going through and making gold. I think this is a really fun party to play. You should try it. Um, it's something different and I think can shake up a lot of the monotony of the game if you're utilizing the same meta over and over and over again. Um, so it's got a lot of movement in it. It's a little complex, but I think it makes you think, and I think you learn um, quite a bit about the game and, and some of the more complex mechanics by taking a party like this. So hopefully that helps, guys. I think if you run that party, um, you'll find that that one is really, really good at bringing home a ton of gold. So that's all I've got.